kids, get ready for church. I'm out for lunch in a restaurant. Um, I've not done this before, let's see if it works. Haven't got the microphone, hope it's clear enough. Well, we're more than halfway through Ecclesiastes now and I'm just wondering what you've learned so far. Have you gone on your cemetery observation walk? And what did you learn? Have you ever been to the cemetery before? One child last week asked me what a cemetery was. That's where we bury people that have died. So this week in the packs was just a little pack, but I focused on the amazing story of Solomon, um, where these two women came and they were each saying that the baby was theirs. It was amazingly clever of Solomon to work out a way to, he, he didn't have DNA testing, he had to work out himself who was the real mother. And the other story that I included, which was included because Tony did it in his talk, his sermon this week, about the parable of the wise man and the foolish man. The wise man who built his house on the rock and the foolish man who built his house on the sand. Just have a look at these very expensive homes that are about to fall into the sea at Womberall. So Isaac Baker is going to think, help us think about Jesus' parable now, about the wise man and the foolish man. Thanks, Isaac. Hey, man. Got your gift. Whoa. Thank you so much. No worries. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean? The instructions. Don't you think you're going to need that? Oh, right. Oh. I'm smart enough to be able to build a house without instructions. <laughs> I think I'm good enough. I reckon I can build it myself. Okay, well, let's see how you go. I'll come back in a bit and see what you've created. See ya. See ya. Hey, I'm back. How'd you go? Ta-da. Whoa, what is that? What do you mean? Look, that's the side. This is the window. This is the door right here. Um, this is the floor. See, you can even go inside right here. Oh. That looks nothing like... It looks more like spaghetti than a house. <sighs> How about you try again, but this time, why don't you use the instructions? Yeah, okay. I guess I'll use the instructions. Wow, that looks so much better. <laughs> Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And how do we do that? Well, we need to pray, and we also need to follow God's instructions, the Bible. Don't throw it away, but actually read it and put it into action. Well, thanks, Isaac. What a very creative way to tell that story, eh? And aren't we foolish to think that we can live life without reading the instructions of the designer? I've got a song that I just want to finish off this section. It's a song I learnt when I was at Sunday school many, many years ago, and I'm sure some of you know it. Here it goes. The wise man built his house upon the rock the wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rain came tumbling down. And the rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. 
but the house on the rock stood firm. But the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the rain came tumbling down. And the rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splat. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down.